This box right here contains something that I should have had years ago. Oh, let's open it. So for a while now, I have been using this multi-tool for tuning my guitars, clipping the strings when I'm done, and all that good stuff. It's also got these things to take out acoustic guitar pegs. It's really nice. But I will say, the tuner part of this tool is a pain to work with, and today is the day that I retire it. In here should be an Ernie Ball Power Peg, I might have said that wrong. I've been wanting one of these for years now. I should have had one in the first place. We're going to open it right now. Whoa, that's a lot of tape. Content. Content. Okay, we got the box open. So normally, I usually get my stuff from Sweetwater. The people over there are awesome. But recently, I have finished up college and I'm going to be graduating next week as of filming. And my friend got me a $50 gift card for Guitar Center. I haven't shot from Guitar Center in months. I basically just converted over to Sweetwater, but I thought it was a nice gesture. So I bought some stuff with said card. This being one of them, and wow, this box is dusty. I had to just wipe off my pop filter. Yeah. Opening the box, got some paper. And here it is, the Ernie Ball Power Peg. Power Peg, universal design, fits all electric bass and acoustic instruments, improves torque, meets all tension requirements from a mandolin to a vintage bass, hmm. up to 70% faster than traditional manual peg winders, such as this one. I hope that's the case. Versatile head, fits all guitar tuning machines, blah, 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 forward and reverse capabilities at up to 200 RPM. Hmm, nice. Locking safety switch, comfortable grip. Comfortable grip requires four AA batteries. That's a lot of AA's. All right, let's see if I can get this package open. Oh, there it is, it just opens up. Now, I ordered strings too, but for some reason, the strings have not come in yet and I should probably get a hold of the Guitar Center about that. All right, so here it is. Uh, oh, that's weird. Is there one for... Okay, I see what's going on here. So one you press down to detune and one you press to up tune. I'm gonna have to figure that out. Let's get some uh, double A's in here. So you open this bottom compartment there it is and it says okay that makes sense so i don't know if you can see it but it pretty much shows you how to put them in i hope this is correct oh i don't think i did this right and then we do the other side okay so i think i did something wrong here i'm trying to figure out how exactly they were Hold up, this side is up. I get it, and this side's down. Get in there. Yeah, yeah, I think I got it. And, oh, there it is. That is nice. I'm gonna have way too much fun with this. It's very responsive. I don't really see myself overdoing it with this. This is really responsive and it's really nice. So I don't have strings at the moment for some reason. They were supposed to come in this package. I need to get a hold of a guitar center about that. But for now, I can demonstrate on a guitar that I have. So if I put them in, oh, there it is. Oh, that tunes up and that tunes down. That is nice. All right, now let's try this sucker with the three and three headstock. 
like I said, this is the modified Les Paul that I did for a project. And there's a video on that if you would like to watch it. I document pretty much everything. And so we're gonna put this in a peg. Let's see if it fits. All right, so it fits the Grover. So let's shut this out. Slid off. Slid off. Come on. Okay, that is pretty. It's kind of a pain to get it on the uh, Grovers on this Les Paul. Okay, now it's just floppy. <laughs> Okay, I tuned it up a little too much, but I like this. This is very nice, very responsive. Obviously, you're not gonna use this for normal tuning. You're like using it to get strings onto the guitar that you have. But yeah, it's very responsive. I like the switch here. Um, it's kind of weird that it requires so many double A's. I had to, like I said, I had to put four in here, but yeah, man, since VDC, 200 rpm that is not bad and then there's the safety lock so i pushed the safety lock up i don't know if you can see it but now i should not be able to press down on these works just like advertised slap a bed down all right okay so the cannon ran out of space so i had to clear some space on there and while i was at it i got a hold of guitar center they were looking at my order and they told me maybe the strings were supposed to come through a separate order so what basically happened was they told me hey we're gonna ship the strings to you and stuff like this is why i don't really shop at guitar center anymore the service is not really as good as like sweetwater and mistakes like this usually happen frequently I'm not trying to completely trash talk Guitar Center, but there's a reason why I made the switch. I am grateful, like I said, for my friend giving me that gift card. I put it to use, but this is definitely the last time I'm going through Guitar Center. That's just me. That's just me. But yeah, this is pretty nice. Worked as advertised. Um, one thing I will say is the back is already heating up. Like the handle feels really hot. So that might be a negative, but other than that, it works just fine. Uh, very good for the money. There's nothing else I can really say at this point. This is a nice product. I'm glad that I finally got one. It took me what, years to get one of these? To pretty much tell myself, hey, you need to get one of these. So yeah, this is the Ernie Ball Power Peg. I'm going to give this between an 8 and a 9 out of 10. That's right, we're doing ratings now. Um, so an 8.5, it would be a 9, but I don't like how the back of it is already heating up. That's my only complaint, really. But yeah, go get one of these. Whether you are getting your guitar ready for gigging or recording, any of that stuff, whether you're new or a professional, you need one of these. You need to ditch these. I like the clippers. I'm gonna use this clipper and I'm probably gonna keep using this acoustic guitar peg thing. But this tuner, it's gotta go. It's very uh, flimsy and stiff at the same time. It's yeah, it's gone. I hope you enjoyed this video today. I apologize to my normal viewers for the wait. College has been really kicking my butt. Over the holidays, I might do videos every once in a while, or maybe not. This could be my last video of the year, but I'm definitely taking a break this holiday season. I'm just gonna kick back and relax. I need it. I am taking the entire month of December off. But yeah, thank you guys for watching. If you like this video, drop a like, subscribe if you want to see more, and ring the bell so that you know when a new video comes up and comment down below let me know what you thought of this product let me know what you thought of this video how my review was give me that sweet feedback and with all that being said i will see you guys next time peace